Welcome back. Uh, 17 minutes after eight. Special guest in this morning, uh, Gabriel Hasselback, who is uh, here playing at the Cellar uh, Jazz Club tomorrow night um, with a new CD out as well. Um, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Uh, so what got you started playing jazz? Boy, that's a good question. You know, I've been playing the horn a lot of years. Um, I think I first saw it when I was a kid. I saw a marching band on TV and I told my mom I had to have one of those trumpet things. I didn't know what it was called, but that's what I had to have. And uh, my first band director and, and my first private lesson teacher, even though neither of them played trumpet, they both were really into jazz. And some, somehow I just absorbed it and just kind of been doing it all along, you know? Um, what, uh, what, what makes you decide about songs? I know you've got uh, on your new CD one cover, mm -hmm. um, but uh, the rest of it all original. So um, what makes you decide what you're putting into a song when you're writing it? Uh, well, I, I've played a lot of different styles of music over the years, and, and I do like playing other people's music, but there's something very expressive about playing original material. I did uh, uh, co-wrote most of these songs with a really iconic keyboard player named Jeff Lorber and, and the tune that uh, we're going to do today along with Jeff uh, a really amazing bass player named Victor Bailey so you know, we like just get your own thoughts out there you know your own experiences now when you're playing jazz in front of a live audience do you tune the audience out a little bit do you go on a little special trip of your own or are you playing it for the people oh well both actually because uh, if you're trying to concentrate and like improvise and you stuff, sometimes you have to tune everything out so you can just focus. It's mm -hmm. kind of like playing tennis or whatever. You just got to focus on what you're doing. But when you're in a section where you can kind of coast a little, then you want to get a little eye contact and, you know, and, and make sure that people are with you. Because if they're all like that, that's no good. They <laughs> said so you get good contact with, yeah. with oh, your yeah. audience. Then. I mean, that, it is about involving the people. And, and the kind of jazz that I do is called... Uh, for lack of a better term, a smooth jazz or contemporary jazz. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's designed really just to be a little bit more feel-good music, a little bit of a stronger beat than just like swing and some of the mainstream stuff. That's great. All right, well, we look forward to uh, hearing the song coming up in the Morning News Cafe. Uh, Gabriel's going to be at The Cellar, the jazz club in Vancouver, tomorrow night. That's uh, Friday, July 24th, 3600 block of West Broadway. If you want to check them out, and uh, you have a CD out as well, gabrieljazz.com is the website that you can pick that up at. Very nice. I couldn't have paid for a better play. <laughs> Thanks very much. And, well, we can't wait, Mark. A little jazz in oh, the morning. Well, I've heard him play at uh, an awards thing Steve Darling and I were at. He's excellent. Sure. Yes. Very good. He stole the show. Steve Darling was Hard trying to do to... with you in the room. Mark. Well, it was more Steve. He, his jokes fell flat because uh, the music just overtook the whole place. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you should actually, because Steve's very entertaining. Thank you, uh, Wesley. No.